Hi, this is Rachel. In science, you will often be using symbols, particularly in writing equations. This video will show you how to do superscripts, subscripts, and some symbols, all in Microsoft Word. So first of all, open up Word like I have here. So you may be able to tell that I have a Mac, so I have Word for Mac, but the principle is the same for Windows. Everything should be in roughly similar menus. So let's start off by writing the name of some compounds. Uh, let's start with H2O, which is of course water. So I'm going to write H2O, and actually I'm going to increase the font size a bit so that we can see this better. There we go. So I now have H2O in Word. However, as you can see, the two is a normal size, whereas what I want is for the two to be a subscript, since it indicates the number of hydrogen atoms that are present in water. So there's a number of ways I can do this. The first way is to highlight the two, like this. And as you can see on the font bar, so this top bar, um, which on mine is under home, we have two little symbols. We have an A with a little two above it and an A with a little two below it. So to make this a subscript, I simply choose the A with the little two below it, and if I hover over, you can see it says subscript. And I press that, and my two becomes a subscript two. So that is what water should look like. And there we have it. So now let's look at something slightly different. So I'm going to have two lots of carbon dioxide, in gaseous format. So I have a state symbol there as well. So we might see this in an equation. We have two different numbers and our state symbol. So let's go ahead and make the 2 next to the O2 a subscript like we did before since it's CO2. There we go. So that indicates I have those two oxygen atoms just like we did for the H2O. So what about this 2 at the beginning? Well this number should not be a subscript or a superscript because it's simply showing the number of CO2 molecules that there are. So we need to leave that number as it is, the same size as the letters and the same style font as well. So now let's look at the state symbol. So that's our G in brackets, our gas. So those should also be a subscript, although sometimes you may see them in just a smaller sized font. So let's go ahead and make this gas uh, state symbol a subscript too. So I'm going to highlight it and press my subscript button. And there we go, I have two CO2 in gaseous. Now there is also a keyboard shortcut for subscripts. So on a Mac, you hold Command and press the Equals button, and that's when you've got your thing you want subscripted highlighted. And on the Windows machine, you hold Control and press plus. Now sometimes we'll want to use superscripts for units or perhaps electron configurations in chemistry. So this time, let's say I want to give some units, maybe centimeter cubed. So centimeter cubed. Now again, I want this 3 to not be like this, I want it to be a superscript, the little number in the top right. So again I do the same thing, I highlight it, and this time I go to the symbol that's an A with a little blue 2 in the top right. And that is the superscript, and again if you hover over it you can see it says superscript. So I press that, and it makes my 3 look how I want it to be, it gives us our superscript. Now there is a keyboard shortcut for superscripts as well. So on a Mac, you hold Command and Shift and then press the Equals button. And in Windows, you hold Control and Shift and press Plus. Great, so that is subscripts and superscripts for Word.